The Goose Who Couldn't Fly. Today we have a book named The Goose Who Couldn't Fly Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Stella was a young Canada goose who loved to look up and watch birds and airplanes flying through the air. Har, um, har, um, honked Stella. Mommy, Daddy, look at those big airplanes up there flying through the air. Why can't I fly like that? I'll never be able to fly. Stella's parents had heard this all before, ever since she was a baby. They noticed she would just stand there on the ground and look up when all her brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles flew in big groups in the sky. She wouldn't even flap her wings. I can stand on one leg. I can float and swim. I can run. I can talk. I can eat tasty things. I can play. I can do all these things, but I can't fly. It's impossible. Why don't you try to fly, Stella? asked her mom. Because I'm too big and heavy. But Stella, said her daddy goose, all the other geese are flying and they're all about the same size as you. No, they're not. Look at May and Gemma and Kendra. They're streamlined and built like a willow branch. Jasper is big, but he's a boy and boys have more strength to do things. Everybody knows that. It's okay for boys to be big, but not girls, cried Stella. It's not fair. Stella was so upset, she stuck her head underwater to cool off. So Stella's parents made a plan with Custard Pie, the floppy-eared beagle. He was a happy, friendly dog who belonged to Mrs. Goodmorning, a nice lady who lived in a pink and yellow house on the other side of the park pond. The next day... Stella was standing on the edge of the pond when Custard Pie quietly sneaked up behind her. And all of a sudden, with as much noise as he could make, barked a big giant woof that startled and scared Stella so much it made her start running as fast as her Lucy Goosey, Lucy Goosey Goosey, Lucy legs could carry her. She was so scared she didn't even look back to see Custard Pie laughing and happily flapping his ears extra floppily to make himself look bigger as he pretended to chase her like some big, mean dog. Of course, in the commotion, Stella started flapping her wings and soon she stopped running. Oh no! I'm not running anymore! That mean dog will catch me now! Harunk! Harunk! But instead, as she looked down, she saw the ground get farther and farther away, and Custard Pie, too, who had stopped and was looking up, waggling his wiggly, waggly, 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 wiggly tail. I'm flying, honked Stella. I'm not too big or heavy. I just had to learn how to fly. Now look at me. Watch out, world. Here I come. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.